I don't think I should have gotten QSS on Graves. I think I should have just got more damage like I was building and tried to carry. The only situation where QSS would have really mattered was that last situation, like the last fight. But I wasn't even fighting on my terms. I just rushed into that to try to help, and I died. I think QSS was a waste of money because the only threat, which was also avoidable, was Morgana. And if I just got like six pure damage items, I could just carry the team fight. Where, because like literally I was doing the majority of damage on our, on our team. We didn't have enough damage coming from everyone else because we were just behind. But I managed to get farmed and get some kills. And get some big crits in there. Alright, start cloth five. It's pretty safe. Start Q or W. I think my I have actually, I've actually never played this lane. I'm pretty sure my thing blocks his yeah it does. My uh, repose blocks his Q, so that's good to know. I think it blocks the uh the uh tornado version though. Chug these pots. Pot thought gives him a lot more uh, armor and sustain than I have. Just gotta be smart and not overstay my welcome if I get out sustained, because that's probably what's gonna happen. Grab my E here. So the biggest mistake he made there was dashing through me. If he had a creep wave to, to, to play with, that could have been fine, but he did not. So he ended up dashing through me and he had nowhere where to escape. And since I had uh, my E active and I had it taking on him, I just had like extra move speed and attack speed to chase him down and kill him. If he flashed, I would have flashed after. So for the most part, once he eat on me, I had to kill, guaranteed. Some situations where like I could have fucked up there. Fuck. Overstayed. I didn't have much mana and he just bought D-Blade. I should have went for that fight. That's my bad. I had a chance to back off, but he dashed back, so I was like, ah, maybe I can snipe with the Q and W. But that was, uh, that was a mistake. Fuck. What was that? No, Fizz, why'd you give him doubles? Do not hesitate. I was out trading him and I had the creeper advantage. That's pretty much the biggest reason why I chilled there. I thought I had a chance to win that.
Try working on a TMR rush here. Fine. Guy's doubles back. I would have liked to get him, but it doesn't really matter to me. He's actually going to be ganking, so that's probably better for him to pick it up. Almost have my Tiamat back in a second. Wait, is he going to give him back? No. Okay. Thank God. Pushing this in. Maxing W, by the way. It allowed me to block Yasuo Q, but it also gives me a. Um, also gives me bonus damage. Free basically. Wow, he smited. I wanna dive him, but I should just back. I have my team on. I just need to shop. He was lower health when I first uh, considered it. But I'm just gonna buy here, I think. Grab mana pot as well, because Fiora has mana cuffs. Eh, if you keep spamming your spells, they're gonna end up adding up. Fiora's really nice on Fiora, because like I said, you get so much free AD from your W. So right now, Fiora's attack damage is increased by 25. I have 80 runes as well, so I have 163 AD. Let's look at our AD carry. He has 113, so I have almost 50 AD over that guy. And Tiamat, obviously, it scales off of the amount of AD, like attack damage you have. Your total AD, which is good uh, for Fiora, obviously, and it also procs during your blade waltz in team fights. So, that's a cool little reason. I'm going to wait for level 7 here, then maybe look to all in. We'll see. I'm just trying to chill, like, not trying to scare him off the lane. Yeah, the, the Fiora full combo. I E I Q comboed, reposted, and dropped him to half health, and then I just finished him off with Ignite and ult. Oh, I do need to play some Nirvana, I'm sorry. I forgot. Like, that last game just completely uh, grasped my attention for the next few minutes. I didn't queue up with Geronimo, and I forgot to play the song. I apologize. I'll make it up to you guys, though. Ults in a minute. W blocks, like, basically it negates an auto attack. And it can return, it doesn't, it doesn't return the damage, but it returns a bit of magic damage. So right now if I block something, it gives 200 damage and it deals it back to the guy. So if he's autoing me and he's doing 97, it's going to completely negate that, and then it's going to do 210 in magic damage to him. And it's a little scale into late game as well. It applies on 80 carries, which is why Fiora is such a good uh, carry killer. Mumu has Mobius, and he's doing their blue. They trade one for one, it's not that bad. Our red's up here. And yeah, like I mentioned before, it also gives me attack damage. Who is in here? I think they should go for dragon. It'll draw out a Mumu. He could have advanced to the brush now. He's doing crab. I should be fine to push this out. 
Yeah, Moomin was topside. He definitely was waiting in the brush. I predicted that gank because he still didn't use his ult and he was topside after finishing blue and he didn't cross back over onto my ward. So it's pretty easy to just guess that he'd look for something here, especially because he also pushed the wave up in the manner that he did because he just wanted to get it shoved in. Oh, that spear though. That was nice. He was in the jungle. Well, he did his. He was on his boat a long time ago, and he was on. He was on. Like Gromp does not take that long to do. He crossed back over in a pattern that made it seem like he had. Oh, and he has Mobius too. Keep that in mind. It made it seem like he was waiting for a top gank, and then he bet, went back into his jungle afterward. Fuck! I moved my hydra on accident. Whatever. Waste of a word. Seventy-five gold down the drain. GG boys. Probably dive yeah, so Assuming I'm not getting ganked, yeah, I'm not. So since we last fought, I upgraded my team mine to a Hydra, and I'm assuming he's just working on Shiv. Yeah, he doesn't really have much else. I can dive him 100 to zero, I believe. I'm about to turn uh, the play onto Talon. I'm gonna leave this this wave up though. Who's top right now? I probably should have ulted instead of igniting and use ignite as a finisher there, but yeah. Not bad. Still fine, I still have my ult. Can still get another kill. I'm leaving the turret up because I can dive. On it. Right, we just gotta be careful not to get roamed down by Talon here. Okay, Talon Smith, that's good. I have level 2 of my ult now, really strong. Not taking into account the Soraka heal there, my bad. An ally has been slain. Got turret with the creep wave pushed up. I'm gonna go for the second turret too. Your push is really fast. I only have one point in my E though, but still be able to dip, get some damage down here. Should I must suicide for this. Oh, they're not even coming, never mind. I'm not suiciding at all, I'm just getting a free turret. It's just like I thought Talon was rotating after they took our, after we got mid turret, but he wasn't. Your blue just spawned, huh? Alright, I'm gonna back here. Their team doesn't have any armor, so I'm not gonna get um much I'm not gonna get much get much pen yet. I think I'm just gonna go for like uh lifesteal and stuff. I could probably get Elixir Wrath too, but that's fine.
<laughs> I can just keep pushing right now. I have 313 AD at 15 minutes into the game, so I'm really fat. Fat as in like overweight, not fat as in strong. Two for three, it's not that bad, right? Fuck. That's pretty bad. It's pretty low. I need to wait for Talon to show though. Talon's the one that can kill me. Come on guys, don't lose the game without me. I think solo. We got we got a free dragon. We get BT. We'll buy my BT here. What's in thirty? I'm gonna get BT and red buff. I have Hydra BT, a shitload of life steal, but when I'm super farmed and super ahead, I'm almost unkillable with this amount of life steal unless I get hard CC. But the problem is, the only hard CC really that I expect to take is possibly I can move ulti. So if I just keep splitting with this amount of sustain, I should eventually just overpower them. Oh, nice spear, I'm coming. I'm just gonna go get top two right here. I can probably finish it before, like Yasuo and Talon are dead right now. I can ignore everyone else and get this. I think just inhibits fine here. Flash that, we got two kills though. Oh, I got sniped. If we had moved earlier, we could have got possibly in him, I don't know. We had Ezreal ult though. I flashed out because Talon was on me, and I didn't want to get. Uh, pop. Ignite also hurts my sustain a lot because it can't, it cuts my healing in half. But they don't have any Morel and Omicron users, which is good for me. Ignite is only held by Talon, so the, they only have one person who can actually cancel my life steal in half. Try to steal their blue again. I might just walk into their base and take this. Possible. Eh, I don't want to go. Fuck. That's
that's fine. Let's grab this TS. Nice. Hey, team's winning. Be a they see me with wards, but I can get this, I think, regardless. Because they have people trying to defend bot. Yeah, oh, nerds. Life's still up a little bit. Alright, full health. Good. I'm dead, whatever. I did my job. Good snipe. You have been slain. I had to wait out the exhaust there before ulting. That's why I kind of cut it close with getting popped by Talon, but I think it was worth it in the end. I was just trying to make as much of a nuisance here as possible so we could possibly get bought, but this turret is probably going to live, which is fine. We already got top in him. We don't need anything else. Shit, he's going pretty ham. Wait, the Nilly cleanup. Oh crap, nope. He might die. Wait, what's happening? I have no idea what's happening. Just run, boys. I have Elixir of Wrath, and I'm gonna wait for it. Eggs in 30. Should be easy enough to get. I'm just way too strong right now. Like, we're never gonna lose a team fight if Jonah focuses on keeping me alive. Once laning phase started to break apart and I ended up pushing more, I started maxing out my E. So I would get I got a few points of Q early because the chance that I'm auto attacking is pretty low. But then once I started actually like taking out inhibs and shit by myself, I put points in my E. Push bot. As long as we have four people pressuring mid, I can get this bot thing by myself. It's pretty low too. I could also go for Nexus turrets. I just tank turn and life sealed off afterward. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That was a little risky. I have plenty of life steal. I kinda confuse them too now, but I don't think it's gonna do much for us. Giving up, so I got bored, so I went in. Probably not my best, uh, my best Why performance. Does this keep up? 
happening to me? Why Sierra Boots isn't a tax rate at least a little bit better on Fiora? Thank you so much, Crash45, for the $10 donation, man. I appreciate that. Um, attack speed boots are fine, but you don't really get anything for getting them. You just, you're just paying for attack speed, and you're trying to do it in an efficient manner. Sierra Boots give me more Qs, more Ws, which, keep in mind, will block one auto attack from a late game champion. Even if it's doing 500, 1,000 damage, it'll still block it, which is really strong. Um, lower all cooldown, and then I can just stack my E. Um, and although my E does reset on kills, it gets half the cooldown on, on assists. So the cooldown reduction helps uh, get that even lower in team fights, where I'm not even cleaning everyone up single-handedly. If that makes sense. I should have just ulted earlier. I didn't need to hold my ult that long. It w I would have been at full health with all the life I have, plus my plus my ult. Um, I just yeah, I didn't take into account the silence. Silence's ability to keep me locked down. We got Bond Hiv. My ulti is doing like almost 700 damage on each tick of it. It does 50% or 40% less against the same guy, but yeah, it's it's pretty hard to one shot the end, like four man, even though they don't have much armor or anything like that. I don't think I got exhausted there, but it's possible. I feel like I didn't though. I'm gonna grab a chain vest here, just for some extra tankiness. It'll help me out in those situations. Also, all the life steal that I'm gonna be healing, like all the all the Sam gang from this life steal and elixir wrath and stuff, will be implied by the chain vest too. Oh, they got him. Fine. Eggs in a minute. Which is all warded. They will not come back. To the death. Okay, I'm starting to misplay. I think that was the worst play in misplay. I didn't think he could bind me through the creeps. I thought I was fine there. Like I thought, okay, he's gonna move all me, whatever. But he landed the he landed the stun right on top of me, and he just comboed me. Uh, gotta be careful here. I don't have to be going for any of this. I'm just trying to like do shit. Oh. Yeah, that's four drags. It's fine. You get elixir wrath here. Yeah, I I keep dying because I'm trying not to get Fiora nerfed. That's the actual reason. I just did that. That Baron's pretty free. I'm just gonna kill them if they come in. Or I'm gonna attempt to anyway. Yeah, they're not they're not coming. 
Try to steal it. God dang it. Rando P. What a flank. I don't have 500 AD, huh? Oh well. I'm just gonna ignore you, turret. I out life steal turret and a move. Can I do it, boys? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Not Talon, though. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't give a fuck about my KDA. I just tried to slip wish, create pressure, and 